But first, as always, the nine headlines at nine. It's the final countdown to India's V-Day. Prime Minister Modi will launch the world's biggest vaccination drive at 10.30 a.m. tomorrow. In the first round, jabs for around 3 lakh frontline health workers on day one. No end to the deadlock between farmers and the centre. Ninth round of talks also fails to yield results as both sides remain rigid on their stands. Next meeting now on 19th of January. Mamta Banerjee faces more desertions in Bengal. Her star MP Shatabdi Roy accuses the TMC of sidelining her. May meet Home Minister Amit Shah tomorrow. TMC tries to placate the miffed parliamentarian. High drama over the Karnataka cabinet expansion continues. A BJP MLA now claims leaders who blackmail Chief Minister Yedirappa with a CD have been promoted. The Congress wants an investigation. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh unveils India's first indigenously developed driverless metro car in Bengaluru. Rajnath calls engineers and technicians real warriors of an Atma Nirbhar Bharat policy. Actor Salman Khan asked to appear before a Jodhpur court tomorrow in the 2008 black mark poaching case. Salman may seek exemption from personal appearance, citing the pandemic. Army chief warns China on the occasion of Army Day, vows to avenge the sacrifice of Galwan martyrs, exposes Pakistan's terror credentials. US President-elect Joe Biden unveils a $1.9 trillion plan to stem virus and steady the American economy, US the worst affected country by the COVID pandemic. And the first day of the final Brisbane test in Australia is marred by racist allegations again. Indian players Mohamed Siraj and Washington Sundar abused by Aussie fans. This on a day when Australia ended at 274 for five at stumps. Hello everyone, this is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.